okay uh, welcome back so um, this is uh, turn two this is uh, German impulse three and this is uh, our hand uh, previous part we played one of the cards in our hand for um, the combat tactic so we've got three cards and uh, I will uh, replenish our hand uh, at the end of our impulse so uh, these are the three cards we've got to we have to play one card and uh, we can't play corpse rouse to activate the corpse rouse because it uh, it was activated uh, previous impulse so uh, I can only play it for uh, the event uh, no, no sorry not the event I uh, can only play to activate any one unit uh, Okay, um, of course for the tactic, so but uh, we need to do something. Uh, I can't pass uh, since I've got three cards. I can only pass if one. So we've got the third corpse and the 40th uh, corpse card. Um, I mean, I would love to have the 48th corpse so can, you know, um, defend better, uh, better defense around Kharkov. Uh, well, Corpse Rouse, oh, no, it's it's not going so. Okay, let's see uh, what happens uh, uh, up uh, there with the other two corpses. So that's the situation here. Fortieth uh, corpse is here, and uh, you know I, I'm still tempted to attempt an attack on this unit. Um, this is a uh, strength nine stuck here against just one uh, one step one strength unit uh, but the last time we attempted this uh, we 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 lost a step I mean they'll get to your combat uh, tactic and it could be little for us that's how we lost uh, the step we were ten to one and we managed to lose a step and uh, you know we just wasted my card I mean uh, I, I'm not sure I want to push it, but maybe later in the impulse uh, I will. Besides, the 40th corpse card has the air power, which will allow me to, you know, uh, put these guys in supply if need be. So may maybe I will hold, uh, hold on to that card a little bit more. So that leaves me with the third corpse uh, card. Um, we're not getting it back because it's not primary. Uh, well, I uh, don't know, uh, maybe, maybe, uh, well, uh, I would love to, um, you know, my problem here is that uh, this unit is uh, surrounded, so it can't move, I would love to move it with one of these two units and, you know, kind of consolidate my lines, maybe, um, well, I would get one unit, one, one more unit into uh, Kramatorsk, just to be certain and you know retreat this guy uh, I don't know but no, uh, now as it is if, if I move this guy will open a gap here uh, maybe this guy is better to move but then uh, only this guy will stand between uh, this unit uh, being surrounded and uh, it's around I mean uh, being out of supply so uh, I don't know I don't know if it's a good idea to move them I mean Kramatorsk is not in uh, immediate danger uh, so yeah I'm disinclined uh, now this unit I could move this unit and get it you know closer could get it here it would be what's two three four yeah could get this unit here uh, close my lines a little bit uh, but then these units would be f too free to move and uh, you know maybe surround us uh, there's already a big a gap forming up uh, here uh, don't know uh, I, I'm quite happy with this unit here it has performed really well so uh, don't know maybe, maybe I will not move anything and just place IPs uh, in every unit and you know uh, get them, give them a better chance I mean uh, a situation up there is you know kind of stable um, I mean of course sixth army and uh, mobile group pop off will uh, will activate will try to do some damage uh, but I think uh, 
I can manage this. Uh, so it, I'm in a rather good shape up here. It's down. Uh, we've got the problem. So yes, may, maybe I will just do that. Uh, place. Uh, yeah. But well, I have to play a card, don't I? Yeah. So yeah, I'm you know activating third corpse. So uh, I'm not moving anything. I'm not. Uh, yeah, there's no dispersed units. I'm not moving anything. Uh, yeah, so it'll be APs for everyone. I mean, for every unit that can. Or doesn't have already an IP. This one is in Kramatorsk, can't get an IP. So, yeah, yeah, the, that's going to be uh, <laughs> my activation. And I, I <laughs> yeah, let's just hope for the best. Actually, we don't have a uh, uh, many options. I have I'm run out of ideas. <laughs> to be honest, uh, yeah, I could try something, may maybe. But uh, okay, so uh, that was that's it actually, and now we uh, draw two cards, and uh, yeah, with only one card, your draw pile. So uh, yeah, two cards. Uh, second, yes, as a sponsor cop, this may allow us to do something, and oh yes, that's the fourth Panther army. That's a quite strong. Um, Card, uh, yeah. See what we can do with this. Maybe if we survive, next Soviet impulse will be able to do something uh, better. And yeah, yeah. Let's go to the next Soviet impulse. Okay. Uh, maybe should have mentioned that uh, the units I have placed the IPs uh, in. Um, they have all the prerequisites they were in supply they're not uh, dispersed or anything so yeah they can receive IPs uh, okay so uh, first good oh okay they're both primary they're both the same command value uh, and then it's what it's uh, lowest card number so this is one a one one this is uh, a e13 sorry so yeah i think this is going to be the command card and this is going to be the um, auxiliary uh, auxiliary card so yeah lower card id yeah so this is this is it we're activating uh first guards army okay and they've got they've got a reserve unit uh, they've got on map units which are non-isolated so yeah the activation will uh, will go on so let's move to the first guards army area and see how uh, ah sorry forgot command delay command delay uh, it's auxiliary it's command delay it's more than um, four cards in uh, in it's four cards isn't it uh, yes it's four cards or more so uh, again no auxiliary for this uh, impulse it goes in okay suffer cut and yeah so yeah let's go to first guards and see to that activation so uh first guards army uh they're just uh yeah can see any i guess there are just these two units here uh and they're they've got an objective marker it has already been placed it's here in kramatorsk right now so let me yeah it's here so they have special movement methods but before that uh we check for objective uh relocation but uh, it's not going to relocate because um if you remember from previous uh, uh previous impulse uh for the army objectives to be relocated you um uh, you have to enter 
uh, the hex. I mean, any Soviet unit uh, has to enter the hex um, in order for the ob army objective marker to uh, be uh, relocated. Only it is considered reached only when a Soviet unit of any army enters the marker hex. So yeah, uh, this is not going to happen right now. So uh, we proceed to uh, next step is movement uh, methods. Okay. So there is special movement methods uh, for uh, first guards army because uh, they've got an army objective in play. So let me. It's better. So, uh, take VP hex. That's uh, according to uh, the movement method uh, one. Uh, they can't take uh, a VP hex. Uh, sorry, forgot to indicate activation. Yeah, ah, that's better. These are the two units. So, uh, they can't take a VP hex. Uh, no, they can't even uh, zone of control. No, no way. And then adjacent to German unit according to method eight. So yeah, they're already okay. Move to an occupied hex. That is, uh, yes, they can't move. So let's see. Uh, a unit starting in a hex satisfying this movement method does not move by this or any subsequent method except as dictated by 925. So, and it's what it is descending order. So, let's first check this one up here. So, it starts in a hex that is adjacent to German unit, and it is, uh, I mean, if it left this hex, it would be unoccupied. So, it kind of is unoccupied besides that, that unit so it starts there so it doesn't move by this or any subsequent uh, method except as directed by 925 so let's see if we're going to have an adjustment uh, by 925 yeah. so uh, could it move to a better uh, hex so okay 925 uh, prefer a hex within the current Soviet operational limit. I mean, yeah, I, I, in the, where we're examining uh, just these two hexes, it can't reach this one because uh, it's a zone of control to zone of control. It could, even if it go there, it would have to go back here and then again. So, uh, hex in Soviet operation, both are a hex that would cause the German unit to become surrounded. Uh, no. Uh, neither hex ensures that a hex and Soviet support both are in Soviet support right now a hex not adjacent to a Soviet unit so uh, this hex is adjacent to a Soviet unit and a Soviet unit also uh, are occupied uh, by uh, sorry, let me read exactly uh, by John Butterfield's uh, clarification, uh, a hex not occupied by or adjacent to a Soviet unit adjacent to the same German unit. So, uh, even if this was reachable, it wouldn't be preferred. This one, which can be reached, it's adjacent to this unit, which is adjacent to this. So, no. This is the preferred hex. So, let me get it this way. This unit is not going to move any further. So, uh okay so again uh check this uh movement method uh eight uh, it's adjacent to both these units and the hex is an unoccupied um that yeah, starts to an unoccupied hex so again uh it satisfies uh movement method eight so uh what uh we're going to Check for 9.25, I mean, uh, it's, yeah, it's adjacent to two units, so uh, now it can't go here, uh, because it would be zone of control to zone control. It could be uh, either stays here, or it goes to that hex, because it can go one, uh, two, three here, and 
could it reach this hex? No. No, it would be, have to go all the way around here. It doesn't have the point. So just between these two hexes that we have to uh, examine. Okay. Uh, so yeah, it's 925 again. Okay. Uh, both hexes in uh, parasimple limit. Both uh, would any of these hexes cause a German unit to become surrounded? Uh, oh no. Uh, yes. Uh, I mean both these hexes. I mean, this unit is already surrounded, but if I moved it here, no, let me check this. E, no, these hexes are sur call controlled. These hexes are controlled. This, no, I could move it because it would not uh, break surround because there's also this unit which controls these two hexes. So this unit would still be surrounded. So um, I'm not, it's not causing it to uh, become surrounded. A hex in both hexes are Soviet support. A hex not adjacent or occupied uh, by a Soviet unit adjacent to the same unit. Okay, this hex is adjacent to a Soviet unit, but this hex also is a hex occupied by a Soviet unit, adjacent, sorry, to a, to a Soviet unit, adjacent to the same unit, this one uh, here. So, uh, and Again, again, let me see if uh, oh, I remember now something about targeting specific hexes. Uh, prefer hex and just the most German units. German unit, you know, the closest German units. No, it doesn't say something to do. Yeah, it's it kind of prefer has a preference between two units. Uh, no, but again. Yeah, a hex, it says, a hex adjacent, sorry, movement method A, it says a hex adjacent to the most German units, this is, yeah, this is correct, it satisfies, but yeah, it's 925 then, uh, so if I move it here by 925, uh, then it would be again adjacent to uh, a hex which is adjacent to a German unit to the same German unit. So yeah, no preference here. Uh, an empty or garrison hex, uh, both are empty and a hex not occupied by an active unit. Both are not occupied by uh, active units. And then we've got the tiebreakers. And yeah, the first tiebreaker is closest to the unit's objective marker if in place. So the units of here is one two. If I get it here, it would be one two three. So yes, this unit doesn't move at all again. So, or by any subsequent method, as it's uh, in uh, yeah, doesn't. Uh, let me check this again. Just and yeah, I think I've got this, this right, and hopefully someone will uh, step up and correct me if I'm wrong. So uh, now, uh, not much to do actually. It's attack checks. It's a sending order, uh, but uh, uh, this uh, this one, yeah, this is first. So uh, yeah, leave it there to indicate it uh, cannot move. And uh, if an attack happens, so we've got to check attack check check its active unit adjacent to German occupied hex. Uh, okay, check active units one at a time in ascending to determine. The active unit is the lead unit, and it can't be the lead unit if it's dispersed out of supply reservoir. It's not. It's uh, a two-step unit. Yes, it can be. Uh, it's not an MVP hex. Okay, all are the uh, all other active units that I have not yet attacked. I mean, no other. It's the sole active unit, uh, adjacent to the, these Germans. All active Soviet reserve units that could legally be placed in hexes adjacent to the target hex per the placement required of 12 to and yes we've got a uh, first guard army and let's check the requirements here uh, of 12 to just let me um, yeah see uh, step active uh, if of the moment of Check the attack is not overwhelming. I mean, no, no way it's overwhelming attack. 
and the placement hex meets the following. Your hex is adjacent to the hex under attack, okay? So it reserve supply can be traced to the hex, and the reserve supply means that it can't go through uh, uh, the zo enemy zone control. So uh, it's what? It's one, it's two, it's three, yeah. You can get it because uh, it can go through here because we've got enemies of control, but here is a Soviet map edge and it can get uh, here uh, seven from map edge, so it's one to three, yeah, easily. Uh, if and if no, yeah, actually, <laughs> they're, they're, they're pretty much, yeah, but they can they, ca they can get uh, reserve supply there, yeah. Uh, a unit in the same front other than a reserve unit is in or proximate uh, to the hex. Uh, yes, this one is in the target hex. Uh, placement of the unit would not violate uh, stacking limits. No, it wouldn't. Uh, the hex is within the operational limits. It is it's not a German town or city. It's not. If the objective marker has been removed, well, it hasn't been removed. Okay. A hex, an unoccupied hex. Okay. Qualifying hexes. Yeah, I mean, it can. Uh, we can get a unit either here or here. Our preference, but. Uh, no problem in getting a unit here. So uh, yes, we have to take into account the reserve unit. So uh, the situational strength would be two plus uh, four. The reserve units it's six, and we have to check against both units. And yeah, now this one is six against four plus IP uh, six against five plus IP six. It's uh, one to one it's actually one to one uh whereas this one is the uh, it's just uh it's six against it's two uh, plus one for the ip uh plus one adju defender adjustment uh, it's six to four yeah it's six to four it's again uh it's again one to one it's not two to one uh, it's one to one, so we calculate tactical value. Uh, okay, the card is three. Uh, okay, let me get this here. The card is three, and then we've got uh, situation strength greater or equal to two to one. It's not uh, Soviet artillery barrage bonus supplies. It doesn't just outside uh, the attack is supported I mean turns one to four everything is supported so that's a four uh, if only Soviet armors have I uh, know they don't if any attacking units are surrounded uh, no they're not flanking will apply uh, no or uh, defender uh, will be surrounded and I no, it will not Okay, uh, the target hex has a VP value of two or more, it doesn't. The attack is in Soviet support uh, and all combat tactics apply to... Um, there's no auxiliary card, so that's a four. In less, less than four cards, no. So it's a four, we need a tactical value of seven to uh, conduct the, uh, the attack. Uh, so no, this attack is not going to go ahead so yeah okay leave it there uh, I don't want to indicate that it has attacked okay and then we check or rather yeah okay and this unit this unit can't uh, will not be checked because it's a one step unit so it can't be the lead unit in an attack but let me just turn them here to indicate that they're still they're active that, uh, and they haven't done anything after checking. So yeah, that would be uh, the end of the. Uh, yeah, but have they? I mean, they haven't. Uh, they have tried to do something, but they have done anything. Is there a, a, a Soviet activations? Okay, objective de 
check movement move active well they haven't moved conduct acta check we did uh active after processing yeah after processing all activation steps the activation command is considered co is considered complete even if nothing occurred in those steps so yeah uh, no problem there so uh place reserves and place ap we don't uh, we don't have any space but uh, we have to check for removals so let's uh, get to nine six and check for uh, removals okay because uh, both units um, okay check active units one at a time in descending order so uh, this one first I uh, don't see the unit did not move or attack this activation yes the unit is adjusting to German unit yes supply can be traced from the unit's hex of course it's a map edge uh, supply state in this map okay the unit was not placed on the map from the reserve you know Okay, removal of the unit would not cause another, another Soviet unit to become nearly surrounded or unable to trace uh, supply. Uh, well, it's good. Actually, it's good. Because if we remove this unit, then uh, well, there is a reasons, as you will see. But yes, this unit would be in danger of surround because they could go, you know, they could go to here here and four here and also take Slavyansk. So yes, removal of the unit would not, uh, if in hex in the person limit, removal of the unit would not cause a surrounded German unit to know. Okay, it meets, it, it, it seems that this unit meets all the prerequisites for removal and for situation. In or adjusting to village hex, uh, no it isn't. In a VP hex and stacked, okay. And uh, no, 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 VP hex within the operation limit and stacked with another unit or adjusted to at least. No, it's not stacked with another unit, so it wouldn't be or adjusted to at least. No. But uh, I mean, no, it doesn't. Sorry, it doesn't meet the prerequisites. What am I saying here? Removal of the unit would not cause another Soviet unit to become nearly surrounded or unable to trace supply. I mean, yeah, it would cause it to be nearly surrounded this unit because it then just one German unit could move it and go to and to here four and to here six yeah it could go six it would have to break it couldn't end here but it could go here oh, no it could just go here it's two one and this unit would be uh, surrounded so yeah yeah I mean, yeah, and nearly sound and check, let me check the nearly surrounded clause here. I um, mean, uh, let's just uh, nearly surrounded. A Soviet unit is considered nearly surrounded if a potential move by one, okay, one of this first German unit would cause that Soviet unit to become surrounded. Uh, does not apply if the Soviet is in a friendly map at the hex. Uh, no, so if if this unit goes to reserves, uh, apart from the risk of losing Slavyansk, uh, this unit would be in danger of surround because this unit then would be, could go two plus one, and this unit would be uh, surrounded. So no, it doesn't move. So descending order again, we have to check. Uh, we check this unit, and uh, yeah, that, that's. Interesting, uh, they don't take into account proximity to VP hexes, but okay. Okay, the unit did not move or attack. The unit is adjusting to a German unit. U supply can be traced from the unit hex, of course it can. The unit was not placed on the map from the reserve units in this activation, no. Removal, again this one we have to check. Removal of the unit would not cause another Soviet unit to become nearly uh, surrounded or unable to trace uh, supply. Okay, if we remove this, uh, okay, we remove this unit. Okay, see, so we remove this. 
and what would happen uh, then we do have a zone of this is already surrounded it doesn't count but then this unit uh, could go no it can't yeah yeah there is you know no, it can't go anywhere because there is this unit is already surrounded uh, it's zone of control here, zone of control here, so it can't move from zone of control to zone of control. It can't th this is around it? Uh, it would become unsurrounded. No, it wouldn't become surrounded because these are there are two units. This hex is in enemy control. This hex in, and this unit keeps those two hexes in control. So this unit remains surrounded. It can't go anywhere. Okay. Removal of the unit would not cause another B. No. If any hex in the operational limit the removal would not cause a surrounded German unit to become unsurrounded. Again, no, we can remove it, and the uh, surrounded unit would not become unsurrounded. Uh, the unit is not in Kharkov, obviously. Okay, then, uh, okay, let's check the situations in or adjusting to village hex exclusively for the non active front no in a vp hex no uh, in a non vp hex within the operational limit yes and stuck to with another unit no or adjusting to at least two soviet occupied hexes no no so not in a non vp hex outside Oh, it's everything is inside the personal line, stuck with another or adjusting to at least. Yeah, if it was outside the personal limit uh, and adjusting to at least one Soviet occupied hex, this one, we would remove it. But now, uh, in the first turns, it's everything is within the operational limit. So uh, it is non VP hex within the personal limit. It's stuck, it's not stuck with another good, but it's adjusting to at least two, it's adjusting to just one. So uh a unit not not uh, sorry a unit not in one of these four situations is not removed so we have checked for removal and it's just uh, not happening so uh yeah that's it that's uh the soviet impulse i'm not forgetting anything they're not getting any uh, ips or something uh you know so yeah that was first uh, discard no auxiliary card so yeah let me reset them and it's time for the uh, next German impulse okay so this is uh, turn 2 German impulse 4 and this is uh, our hand now and uh, yeah we can activate everything here because it's a uh, uh, corpse house uh, was not a uh, third corpse was activated the last so corpse house is uh, free to activate again and yeah we've, we've got the stavka card here which is interesting uh, because i mean uh, again the 40th corpse i'm not doing anything with it uh, and corpse house yeah these guys are quite uh, desperate but i don't think i could help them but um yeah there's only one unit free to move and okay second the suspension corpse is um, yeah they're not uh, under immediate i mean uh we've got a stack uh let me just let me show you second this is uh we've got a stack of units uh but we've got unit here which is Guif, and the unit here is Migif so uh, I'm not uh, inclined in moving them and yes there is up there there is here a stack uh, quite strong stack it's nine strength here unit it's holding until now it's yeah I think uh, they're going the Soviets are going to have some trouble you know defeating that uh, so I'm quite happy with them right now and I'm thinking of you know using the stuff the sorry the fourth puncher army card and you know uh, improve a little bit uh, my position uh, here around Kharkov because um, the uh, puncher army uh, card allows us to activate all units in one 
Panzer Army Corps, but also to activate all Army and Corps, Fourth Panzer Army and Corps Rouse units within two hexes of a hex of uh, your choice. Uh, kind of, uh, it's a camp group actually. So, yes, uh, that's what I'm going to do. So, uh, let's get these out. And so, we're playing this card. Uh, Fourth Panzer Army. Uh, unfortunately, it's not a primary one. So, and I'm going to activate a camp group. Uh, and yeah, let me focus, zoom in a little bit. Yeah, that's the area that's Kharkov there. So yeah, I was thinking of you know placing it here. Okay, and so I can activate uh, one, two, three units will be activated plus these two but I don't want to do anything with th these two units uh, and one two three no this won't be activated well I'm not doing anything uh, what I was interested I'm interested in doing something with these units because I can uh, activate both corp browse and this unit this lone unit here and yeah uh, try to set up uh, better defense and Kharkov okay so uh, yes that's what I'm going to do uh, what I'm going to do is first I think I'll get this unit into Kharkov it's the weakest unit uh, no uh, point in you know having it uh, exposed right now so uh, let me get it into Kharkov so it's going to be in no, no zones of control <laughs> it, it miraculously escaped these units were spearhead they opted for the uh, objective so it's uh one it's two it's three and yeah it's into kharkov so um and this unit has moved and now uh is it move or build ips i mean uh i could move this unit uh here but then it would kind of open my line uh, but then it would be good and I, I think it's better to keep it here you know uh, because now uh, these units are in the zones of control everywhere it would be a problem for them to yeah you know, they'll have to go round in order to move effectively because there are other units but these units here uh, yeah these units here would be uh, so I think of um, I would be better off building an IP and I don't know uh, I'm tempted in you know removing this one step unit here and getting it uh, one two three into Kharkov as well so I have four strength into Kharkov uh, but then it would just be strength four here not strength six uh, I don't know uh, yeah maybe i'll just leave them there and yeah but uh, this one yes uh i think i'll get it one back i'm not going to give it an ip and get it going back so the lines are sold these two benefit from each other plus one and um, uh, they have kind of uh securing their uh flanks i mean this is good this is crossroads quite important uh, I'm not expecting an attack soon to come from here uh, but uh, it could come very well from here so yeah kind of hoping to stop them yeah you've got zones of control up to here yeah so that either would be okay and then yes uh, I'm going to do just that get these units there uh, no, I know some of you may think that it's a suboptimal use for uh, f an army card, but uh, I don't think uh, we have to play defense. Um, so yeah, and building an IP in this unit, and yeah, this is going to be it, I suppose, and. This have Corp Rouse now and uh, a 48th uh, have 
both been activated so yeah i'll place the markers here and get uh corps uh the third corps ready for another activation so yeah i mean a third tank army has seen quite some action there so yeah that you know maybe we'll get away with it so these units are now uh, i think Kharkov is better protected uh yeah so yeah we get this out uh, so yeah that's all I mean yeah I think that's the best I can do for now and if things go south yeah I'll fall back to you know uh, the south west direction yeah uh, I think Voronezh front this unit uh, sorry these units yeah that's better i think these units here will try take to goof uh it's like take it for them or take me and kind of you know surround us but uh then we've got some western supply hexes coming so we can fall back uh due west or a bit to the southwest we'll see what happens there are some woods here to help us uh some towns you can know Valky is yeah maybe Valky or uh, Krasnogard and Valky here yeah will be our next stop and yeah yeah that's uh, that's German impulse for I suppose so yeah we'll go on with the next Soviet impulse in the next part.